In this video I'm going to give you a quick overview of what I'm going to do in my other videos. So uh, in my other videos I'm going to create a table and I'm going to show you the difference between all of these different isolation levels by running uh, three statements within a transaction to show you what dirty reads happen uh, outside of the transaction and uh, whether uh, this transaction will block or whether this transaction will have phantom reads. So that's what you can expect in my other videos, uh, each individually comparing read committed, read and committed, repeatable reads, serializable, and snapshot. So um, just to give you a brief overview of uh, what each one of these things are, um, the read and committed will read dirty data. So it'll read data that uh, changes outside of your transaction and it'll also have phantom reads, meaning if uh, an outside transaction inserts uh, new rows, you'll actually read it within your transaction um, the second time around, and then uh, some other times it might be deleted also. Um, and a, re re a repeatable read is, uh, for example, within a transaction, if you select a certain amount of rows and you read it again, uh, there will be a guarantee that those rows are exactly the way it was when your transaction begun and even though they are altered uh, or attempted to be altered outside of your transaction uh, me, uh, either and the SQL Server isolation level will guarantee that either by creating a uh, kind of a snapshot or a temp copy of that information or it'll block other transactions from altering it while this transaction is still active. Um, but I don't want to go through too much detail here. I um, just want to give you a brief overview. So here's a chart of what's, uh, what's occurring and I explained what dirty reads are, what phantom reads are before and what a repeatable read here is. And, and I say a repeatable guaranteed read because um, for uncommitted, if the data didn't change and you read it three times within a transaction, um, they're going to look the same way. Uh, that's not a repeatable read guarantee, that's just that the data didn't change. Uh, same with a, a read committed. Um, read committed doesn't guarantee repeatable reads, uh, whereas repeatable reads, serializable, and snapshot does. Meaning, um, once again, uh, just to repeat myself, um, because this point is. Uh, pretty important here is um, whatever you read beginning within your transaction uh, it persists throughout the transaction if your own transaction didn't alter that data itself uh, so it prevents outside uh, transactions from altering that data um, so uh, there you go that that's what to expect in my other videos where I, I do uh, have examples of this uh, side by side so um, you know, just uh, watch those other videos. The most helpful one is actually the serializable one. So if you don't have time looking through the other videos, that one would be the most uh, beneficial one. All right, thank you for listening. Bye-bye.